Hello and welcome to episode 6. Nah. Oh yeah, I guess, I don't even know how many of these have Christmas avatars on them, but this one certainly does. Jingle all the jingles. Yeah. Um, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Jingle Merry, Merry Happy uh, Noel. Happy Life Day. There should be a Christmas episode of Mando. Will they do it? Who knows? Mando should wear a Santa we... hat. Yeah, M Mando. The Maybe the, Mando. the Mandalorian code means he can't wear two hats. This is not the way. Just the oh one boy. hat is allowed. I have to really no push more. my emotions there to impersonate him. Yeah, he's got I a lot tell. of character and inflection when he talks. That's right. I knew you could do it. Very good. He's really mm. exciting to listen to. You cannot train him. What? Hey, what what does Mando like think about anything at all? It sounded almost like you were setting that up as an interesting discussion on character. You're like, so what, what do you think Mando thinks about anything? I mean, I don't know. That's the thing. That's I don't a, know who he is. The tough one. Uh, he likes to not ch kill children. Other than that, uh, this is the way. Sometimes. It, yeah, the way. Mm -hmm. Something exactly. Sometimes. This is the way. Is probably some of the most work I think a sentence has done to try and account for a lack of character. Everyone's fucking repeating it like seals. Like, yeah, oh, it's so cool. This is the way. Yeah. Oh. The cake is alive. The cake is alive. The cake is alive. The protagonist is basically anti-character, but whatever. It's as soon fine. as it's great. As soon as Ray says this is the way in episode ten, they're all gonna be like, eh, this is the way it's been ruined. Uh, you can't say. Yeah, that's the cool guy's line. Well, <laughs> only he's supposed to say that to justify any fucking nonsensical thing he does. I think that's the most damning part of his personality because he does have one thing. It's that he's really stupid. All right. Oh, I, that's true. I, I take issue with you trying to say that there's nothing there. It's like we've seen plenty to imply that he's he's like got issues. He doesn't understand how anything works, he's but he relies issues. on he's got his brain issues. We I mean, have talked about this like uh, a couple days ago, or whatever. But like you know, like Iron Man has a suit that goes all the way around him, and it's made of you know like nanotech in certain portions. There is no iteration of Iron Man film where his armor doesn't get torn away over time through damage, and mm. thus the stakes are not ruined. I feel and... like the Thanos fight is the clearest example of that. Like every punch is taking more and more out of his armor, and like then it becomes so bad that he has to use, he has to make parts of his himself vulnerable to even like shoot things. Meanwhile, Mando has a suit that doesn't cover... What would you eyeball a percentage? Would it be like 60% exposed? Like that? I think 60% yeah. is probably right, yeah. Iron Man's got 100% coverage, uh, at least in a, like, a reasonable way, not like a needle going through a fucking gap in the armor or something. And yet, uh, Iron Man is the one who has to suffer because his armor actually has limits while Mando just waltzes through every fucking scene and not giving a fuck. It's just funny as a sort of... Yeah, it's like half of his body is basically uncovered. Yeah. And yet he's shot constantly. It always hits the armored parts and he acts as if he knows it will always hit the armored parts. Which, by the way, uh, I saw three separate comments pointing out how shit we are as commentators for, for saying, wow, it's so dumb that they shoot him in the armor. And at the same time, we said... Wow, it's so dumb that they're trying to hit him instead of shoot him. See that contradiction right there, guys? You gotta work on your uh, your commentary, because that... Yeah, that contradiction where I guess you just die instead of trying to do anything to live. Well, I just, <laughs> I, I figured, comprehension-wise, you guys might have picked up in the viewing audience there that what we want is for people to aim at his non-armored parts. That is... Yeah, like his lower chest. That is the key. Yeah, especially when they're literally point-blank and they're shoving their muzzles up to him. When they aim and shoot at his fucking helmet like in the opening of that ambush in episode 2 it's just like mm, okay. like what are you doing are you like we gotta have a discussion how fucking retarded are you like how how <laughs> stupid are bad guys allowed to get before y'all get the picture how <laughs> dumb well good thing that do antagonists have to be before you start to go well actually you know that uh, Good thing that episodes 3, 4, and 5 are all great examples of bad guys being competent and uh, defeated with skill yeah it doesn't bore the crap out of us what watching is, armies fall over for themselves. For people who defend this show, I want to know how low of an IQ does an enemy faction have to have before you start to think that your protagonist isn't that great for beating them? It would be more interesting to watch, like, Jar Jar Binks fight these stormtroopers. Because at least it would be fair. Of course, Jar Jar has the advantage whether or not he has a weapon. I'm just saying that it would be more interesting because uh, you don't have just Terminators walking around, I think. Regardless... As I said in whichever episode, it'd be interesting to try and grab up some things here and there. We pointed this out as like um, when it was mentioned with the baby, the uh, the the frog person is like, we need to go to the only planet, the whatever world's like, what the only planet? Uh, this is the top comment on the episode right now from Jay. She could only survive on one planet. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like she's doing okay in that ice cave. <laughs> it's like 
It's weird. <laughs> of all the places you'd <laughs> think a species might have trouble in, it would be an extreme temperature of one or the other. But <laughs> like she's... especially a, a reptilian-looking critter. But yeah, she's doing freezing. All right. She's even happier yeah, there. Luckily, she doesn't want to leave. Yeah, splashing around, having a great time in that random hot spring that they found. I'm not even yeah. sure. That was that was um, nifty. I'm not even sure we highlighted how fucking crazy it is that that was like meters away from them. Like, yeah, 20 or so, but still. It's just like That's they crash cool. land and there's a hot spring in the ice cave? Like, what? <laughs> like, also, an <laughs> army of spiders lives right next to it. You're like, this is, this is a good episode, okay? It's good. That's where the spiders drink. They drink from the hot spring. That's how they live. We got, he's a baby. He doesn't understand you. Like, that's something that we said. And they're like, boy, their face is going to be red when we watch chapter 13, which is the Ahsoka one. <laughs> so, to go over the references we have in total, he often tells Baby Yoda to do things, and Baby Yoda is either confused or doesn't do them whatsoever. Yeah, Ahsoka... there doesn't seem to be really much in the way of him actually understanding Mando. Oh no, there is. So, uh, Ahsoka says that she can understand Grogu, and then she puts, she says, in a way, at the end of the sentence, and you're like, alright, that's more than we even expected, but okay. And then later on, he's like, trying to use the stone and shit, and he's like, I don't know fucking, I don't know what's going on here. And then he's like, he's, baby doesn't understand what I'm saying. And then Ahsoka's like, oh no, he does. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah so, the next then, message is here. And then yeah. you combine all of them with Mando before the Ahsoka interactions, tried to get Baby Yoda to fix his fucking ship. I need you to do this engineering task based on explicit instructions that I give to you after you crawl into this chamber onto my ship that I can't reach. Odd design for a ship, but okay. And you okay. got pretty close as well. So, uh, what I find amusing about this is like, the comment section is like, blushing in happiness over the idea that we don't know what's coming. And it's like, oh no, we, I don't think any, it, there is no answer to this. Like, does the baby understand Mando? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> baby Yoda, don't eat the eggs. It's like, I don't know, did Baby Yoda understand that? I don't know. They're gonna have a level of understanding that is preferable to them for the moment in the story. And um, you can train people in the Force before they can understand what you're saying? She, like, talks to Baby Yoda through the Force or something? I don't know if that's... Yeah, funny. kind of communicate, mm -hmm. maybe intuitively. I guess that's mm -hmm. the best way to read it. I do think it's funny, though, that they, he may have been trained for as much as, like, two decades. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be honest all with you, if I, was a, if I was a human teacher with the kind of it's like in 50 years he's not picked up anything and i'm retired <laughs> so <I can't> <laughs> We got, in the EU, every hyperspace capable ship projects a stasis field around itself seemingly as necessary condition of even being able to enter hyperspace which protects the ship and its passengers and all sorts of things like relativistic time, dilation, radiation, potential, lethal tidal forces and so on. In the Disney universe, lol, if it eggs go into hyperspace they go poof for reasons. <laughs> this comment, and there was another one that said you do have to strap in for hyperspace so it makes sense that the eggs uh, could die. Why do you have to strap in for hyperspace? So. I'd have to check the many times we've seen hyperspace going, but I'm almost certain, uh, this is this is just a hunch, I'd have to check, that when hyperspace activates, there have been people who haven't been strapped in, who at most will, it'll be like a car moving from zero to like 10 miles per hour. You know, like the start of a treadmill sometimes, you just yeah, go, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah there's there a little bit of inertia involved, but... Nowhere near enough to come across as threatening to the eggs if they can survive your average sort of, you know, jostling around as you walk across the average place. Like, I, I don't believe it whatsoever. But the funny part is that whether or not any of this is true, whether or not the eggs can survive hyperspace, they should have died from all the shit they went through in episode two, regardless. Oh yeah, like when he, when he goes in free fall and he's just going around and everything and they're holding on for dear life all that cargo and the hold is just getting well slammed around and jostled and thrown against the walls and interesting thing about that is um i think the only time they show a shot of the eggs is when he's falling through the ground and uh, it's a quick shot to show the eggs sliding from one side of the room to the other the visual is now on screen but then oh my God. if you think about that scenario that you're seeing right now look at the looseness of all of the objects in that room picture that room but then this scene <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? That little... I wouldn't be surprised if it smashed and the eggs just went all over the place. It would have been a tragic moment because Mando failed Frog Lady as he fails everyone. This was getting a lot of appreciation. Baby Yoda scooting away on wheels is the funniest shit. Is <laughs> is that something you, you couldn't notice? Because it's really people kind of obvious. Our coverage was like... Oh, I guess it's... What? What, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All of us picked that up. <laughs> I just, there's no way they thought that looked good. 
And the bonus funny is that they could have edited it so you just cut that scene. Frog Lady walks into the ship with Baby Yoda, and then you cut it. You don't need to show her putting Baby Yoda on the floor, and he wheels away. <laughs> he wheels away as if somebody's pulling a string. I can't believe they kept really? it in. Like, it was it so awkward. Really and, uh, the last comment I, I would like to highlight. At least bring up the frog <laughs> life who edited this. <laughs> I was keeping an eye out her than Mando. I was keeping an eye out for critical yeah. comments. There was fuck all cr comments are critical of Mando right now in our comment section. I don't know what happened between episode one and two. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> I think episode one just had a because it was like the first c coverage of it. So you have people unsettled, but uh, I think already the sentiment is turning hardcore on this show. Went a little bit a little bit quicker than season one, which was yeah, something yeah, we, still, we figured would happen. Still, yeah, um, I think most people would still say season one's good if not great. Yeah, and I think most people are saying season one is better than two. I don't know where we stand on that for now. I don't know yet. Yeah. Season one's ending is really fucking awful. So if, if Mando season two oh, can, yeah. you know, walk it in, <laughs> just like, yeah, well. I don't know yet. They're both pretty bad. I don't know. It's a tough call to make. I have no idea which one's worse. So uh, there, was just a, there was a couple of clarifications I wanted to do. Some of these are definitely criticisms, some of them are more just questions, but you know when Mando arrived on uh, Water Planet, the, the whole point of that was to ask Frog Lady Husband where they can find Mandalorians, and it's because Frog Lady Husband, I, I guess, knew about Mandalorians, and Frog Lady knew about that, and Frog Lady had managed to let the ant person in... Moss Eisley know about that, and that person happened to be doing a fucking game of cards with the engineer, who is friends with Mando. It's just, it's just really funny to think about that series who, of connections. Yeah, who had just oh, sort yeah. of coincidentally met Mando. It's yeah. insane. But then, of course, just to add one more, Mando lands, and like the blue Mandalorian girl is just happens to be keeping an eye on, I guess, new entries. Like, what's the logic there? Did, did Frog Lady husband tell the Mandalorians that Mando's coming? Hmm. Because obviously that sets up their ability to save his life. So that that's because I was thinking about where my my main issue lies with all of that through line, and they just they just happen to be they they just there they just keep an eye on him. And it's like I, I don't know uh, how or why that yeah. happened. But there's no lines about like how oh yeah our contact let us know you were coming, which is all they needed to do. Yeah, it's just pretty much just uh, lucky we were here. Yeah, just and and yeah, and they comment yeah. on that, and I still think it's fucking terrible. Uh, so why did why didn't they reach out to Mando before he went into the trap? Like, he could have been killed. Yeah, in fact, he should have been. Hmm. Which, by the way, I guess we didn't comment on it, but what do you guys think about the idea that he probably should have used his whistling birds, are they called? Whistling something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably should have used them while he was under the grate in the in the boat. That would Maybe. have been an insta-kill for all of them. Pulls yeah, out a gun and just been... shoots everybody there yep. before he Dude. jumps in. So the know? whistling bits, I think, is the best one. Gun is certainly great, too. Even the flamethrower. Like, all of his weapons are useful. Yeah. <laughs> he just never uses Almost like them. he has a vast arsenal of weapons. He just never fucking uses or uses way too late. I um, guess they their plan was they throw the carriage into the pit, which means that they can't get the prize for Baby Yoda if they think it's going to get destroyed by feeding it to that monster. But I guess they want the best scar. Surely they couldn't have predicted that Mando would instantly jump into the water pit as well, meaning they couldn't get the prize well, it was if he like sank down or something. Like just after he does it, they start sealing him in as if they like it was planned. Which yeah, that's another what like, a what weird the fuck. plan. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to rebadge this as well. So in episode four, where, where he saves the day for our team of heroes right before they're about to get blasted away, um, it means that he would have jetpacked from uh, the, the, the reactor place all the way to the Navarro town to the school to collect Baby Yoda, then jetpacked to his ship that they would have repaired in time to pristine condition to then pilot it back to the canyon like seconds away from it being too late. Like it, that's kind of all insane. And I think the only reason that he picked up Baby Yoda before leaving was just so that it's an easier end to the episode where he says on a comms thing, like, oh, bye, by the way. And he's like, yeah, Mando, have fun, you know, whatever you're doing. And I was wondering, do they have, did they have comms the whole time? Because it might have been nice for Mando to be like, I'm on the way, but I'm, you know, XYZ, instead of just surprise saving them and stuff. I don't know. It's, it's all so strange and it's all like uh, constructed just to have the moment of, yes, we did it. Yeah. Right in time. Yeah. Uh, we we didn't spot the thing that apparently a whole bunch of people spotted, which was there was a guy in the background of one of the scenes. I knew about that. I didn't look I for didn't, it I didn't in, the, even know in the episode. I'd, I'd seen the pictures, but I didn't look for it. In the moment, I guess I was too blown away by <laughs> yeah. just the incompetence of all the, sto <laughs> the stormtroopers well, and stuff. For those curious, there it is. 
on screen right now. Look at that. Look at that guy. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Look at thing. that dude with his clothes. And There was a Twitter post that was like, they'll complain about the disappearing knife, but they don't complain about this. So <laughs> let me lay this out. We would complain about that if we if we'd spotted it. Just like I didn't complain about the knife mm -hmm. until it was shown to me. And now I can't unsee it because it's just horribly there. Secondly, random dude in strange clothing in the background isn't a knife that would have killed someone disappearing before they can use it. Yeah, I'd say that that one's a lot worse. The thing is, that if, if someone was trying to make the argument of like, that dude's clothing, it's from planet Earth in a different dimension, what does this mean for the narrative? I'd just be like, well, it could just be a guy oh, wearing bad. weird clothes. Hmm. Oh, also, this is like the car in the Fellowship of the Ring. It's a clear out of universe. Um, you can't even, can you even tell it's a car? Error. Like, because we know it's a it's car. It's very, yeah, but it's, it's pretty difficult. Yeah, it's just like a you, weird light and a, a thing moving yeah. in the background. Could just be Gandalf waving his staff, you know? You don't know. There's a clip I play in the episode 4 edit that we don't really comment on. I'm not sure if we all missed it or we felt that we had kind of covered it, but I wanted to bring it back up. I guess I'll play it now. Controls are useless, they're melted. Well, it's probably not rated for lava. Imperial trash. When they built this base in this lava place that has a lava lake that rises and falls consistently, they built it with controls they put on normal things, and they didn't account for the fact that the lava would destroy their controls, and they also That's haven't silly. replaced their controls since they were destroyed. I don't know how they get in and out of this place with that door just not working from that place, they but live here how forever. fucking stupid do you want to make <laughs> stormtroopers in the Empire? Like, Apparently it, very. And then uh, Mando flies up, and I guess he presses a button that calls the elevator down to them and opens up. It's kind of like a weird moment, but yeah, yeah. That's, that's what happens, I guess. I think they'd be waiting at the elevator, or they would lock it or something. You'd think they'd just have brains. Everything is so pristine in these Empire bases, but they didn't have a control panel for their like entrance because the lava melted it. Like, what the fuck? It, it just, it's just mind-blowing for like like how much they just don't care to portray them in any way other than retarded. Speaking of which, uh, the, the reactor that you press a few buttons to overload without any sort of like main le level access, other than just guy walks in room. Because of course, um, you might have thought like, well, still you have to get through the base, you have to have that key card thing that Grief Karga gave to um, Blue Man. If you remember, I don't even remember what that was. He just gave him a thing and he put it in and it opened it. I don't know if they were trying to imply that some kind of like hacking gear. You don't need any of that? If you have, right, let's start big first. If you have a spaceship, you can actually fly over that area and go down and hover and let someone out to get to the reactor and blow it up from the outside. You wouldn't need to get into the, the station at all. Mm -hmm. If you had a jetpack, you could do it really easily. And then if you repelled down, you could do it. Like, how fucking balls is this space station? Or <laughs> there's a self-destruct button that you could access without getting into the base. It's like, oh. Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like maybe in the design phase of making this base, they could have left that one out. See, like, that would have been, that would have caused nothing but trouble. And yeah, I suppose the only other thing that is, like, partially on my mind is the interesting element of, like, how much Mando can tank damage, but uh, season one, it's the explosion that goes off near him, and it, like, hurts him in the direct back of his head, despite the helmet. In the last uh, episode season? Yeah, the only person who's ever harmed Mando yeah. is Gus blowing up. I don't even remember what it was. It was, like, little... it was like one of those ammo crates or something, is it? Yeah, so I'm guessing, like, despite his helmet being made of Beskar, despite him being shot in the helmet directly, I guess some piece of shrapnel just went up through there. it? It went up through... I and I don't know how. It's interesting to think about, because he's just never injured, but other than that one time... It, and it blocks was... lightsabers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, blocks lightsabers, but it can't block damage provided by uh, exploding ammo. It's so weird. This is a very good show. I guess we can we can soldier on. This is, I guess, a prelude would be that I have heard. This episode is, like, masterpiece work. This is putting Star Wars back on track. This is the best episode in the season. Like, thank fuck. A lot of people put out videos already saying this is fucking great. However, I've seen mm. some sentiment in the Discord, and uh, I think some people on Metal Stream saying, no, this is possibly the worst episode in the season. So, <laughs> yeah. man, excited. excitement ahead, because I think that means, uh, I was saying this to Frank earlier, that uh, stuff probably happens in this one. Yeah, this won't be filler like the last several <laughs> episodes. The last season and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's hope. Flimsy. Previously on Mando. This is Boba Fett. He's like, oh look, there's a guy who got oh, shot. Well, oh, well, I guess we know who's coming back this episode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I assume it's Boba Fett. No, I mean, who? Hey, Former Black Sands
Didn't she get killed? Well, yeah, but this is this is Star Wars. Oh right, this is Star Wars. Nobody's really <laughs> Nobody, gone. Nobody's ever. Really gone. <laughs> Fennec, no, Fennec is surely dead. I, I don't know why else they would have shown us that. This is this what I said about previously. To show ways. to show that Boba Fett was the one who walked yeah, up. Yeah, the her. Boba Fett was the guy. I think she's coming. And back. Boba Fett was like, okay, well, I'll guess I'll turn in this bounty. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the money. <laughs> actually, I guess actually, I'll just turn uh, in this pile of money. That could be the reason, actually, that he's got means of travel now because he sold the bounty. Which, by the way, would be really mm. fucking stupid if they. It would be dumb that. that he hadn't already. Yeah. like no, done that. Yeah. yeah. Either that. Oh yeah, we or... have our killer robots. Either that, or she's coming back. And yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, e either these are called dark or death troopers. I'm not sure yet. Shadow troopers would have been another option. Edgy, edgy Edge troopers. troopers. <laughs> yeah. Where are the pink and rainbowy death, robots? Death droids. Storm bots. Storm bots. Yeah. Uh -huh. Storm droids. Shadow droids. Edgy the hedgy droids. Where the fuck were you? I said that edgy already. Me and Mel already made these. Out. You said edge bot after it. Wow, they completely edgy ignored bot. all of our jokes, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. How, yeah, the whole oh god, crap. character that development. Was, character development he's name. ever had. He did an emotion. Can you give me the ball. Come on. Fuck you. Come on. Much training exactly would it take? I don't know. It depends on how stupid the very special Grogu kid. is and how infantile his tiny mind we're gonna is. Find that. That's where we're going to try and find you a Jedi. But you have to agree to go with them if they want you to. Understand? You can understand these train concepts you. I'm giving to you, right? Too, don't you want to learn powerful? more of that Jedi stuff? <laughs> Jedi stuff. I agreed to take you back to your own kind, so that's what I need to do. The audience now is understanding where we are, I guess. <laughs> the tragedy. Mm. So this is definitely an important episode. Yep. Yeah. It's probably going to set up the two-part finale, right? Because it's seven and eight. I, I guess. guess, yeah. This is our second act low point. Oh my god. That might be, yeah. He's going to put him on the stone, and then it'll explode. Yeah. Everybody oh, does. Well, Baby Yoda flash everywhere. Wow, all right, there it is. Oh, cool. He didn't get ambushed or... Well, no. I guess it's by yeah. cop or... It's amazing. Wow, he just gets to go to where he needs to be? Yeah. This is a planet. Wow. Did she give him, like, coordinates or something? Go to the planet Tython. There you will find the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. Place Grogu on the seeing stone at the top of the mountain. Then what? Then Grogu may choose his path. May the Force be with you. I no, mean, but... we didn't right, see but... that, but <laughs> I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to travel the last stretch with oh, the Legos God. down. Is there going to be like an old Jedi here? You're like, Dag <laughs> Nabbit, these Mandalorians and their little baby aliens. These yeah. bushes are sacred. These juniper berries. Are a bit of a... <laughs> Did you bring me some of that blue juice? I feel like so reading a book here would be nice. Yeah. Sit right yeah. Here. Seems... Do the thing. Do be a Jedi. Do the, do it. Is the seeing stone? Are you seeing anything? Maybe Ahsoka should like come with you, you to do <laughs> our instructions. Yeah, it would have been oh, useful yeah. to have Ahsoka for this. Maybe there's some kind of control or something. <laughs> it's like a button. <laughs> go Jedi. <laughs> oh sweet, it's the rock button. Excellent. Staircase comes down. They go. They go to a secret chamber underneath it. I'm uh, it's pretty chill so far. Hopefully this is actually something. Oh come on, kid. Ahsoka told me all I had to do was get you. You've only been here for like 30 seconds. Come <laughs> yeah, on, chill out. Down. Just have a sit down, yeah. man, though. Go to sleep. Yeah. Well, this, this ship oh. didn't crash, so there's no need to sleep. Uh, well, oh, well, that's one. pretty obvious of you. Why did. <laughs> maybe Boba Fett's not intending to be Secret. antagonistic. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe he's a good man. Well, maybe he's there to just like good literally man. meet him. I suppose. Boba's allegiance, he was only like a, sort of like a contractor for it's the Empire, He's a bounty hunter, right? yeah. It's a yeah, I think he's a bounty hunter. I don't think he had really cared who was paying the bills. Yeah. Oh, neat. Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. We don't have time for this. We gotta get... Yes, you do. Yeah, you, you don't know. You're right. Chill. Just, just stay there. Relax. Boba Fett's a long way away and you have here. a jetpack. Yeah, just keep an eye on that guy. Yeah, I was about to, you know. Yeah, you, you got a perfect view. Can you please hurry up? 
Can you just wait because that no, guy no, has no, to no, walk no. really far? Yeah, just, just, just stay. stay here. Stay? It's a force field, man, dude! You're at the top like, of a yeah. hill on a f with a force field and, and you can keep Now around. you lost just... him! Now you, oh. yeah, now you don't know where he is. Dude, baby, you're just gonna get. Dude, baby, you're just gonna get. How do you know you're gonna bump into him this way? Yeah, baby, Yoda will get taken by somebody else. I'm thinking. Probably the Empire. By the the robots, the death robots. Hello, Boba Fett. Are you Jedi? Fuck no. I like how revealing his face means nothing to Mando. I'm here for the armor. If you want my armor, you'll have to peel it off my dead body. Not yours, idiot. I don't want your armor. I want my armor. Hmm. That you got from Cobb Van back on Tatooine. Why didn't you take it off? Belongs Cobb? to me. Yeah. yeah. Are you Mandalorian? I'm a simple man making his way through the galaxy. Hey. Like my father yeah. before me. Hey. Did you take the creed? I give my allegiance to no one. The hmm. Beskar belongs to the Mandalorians. He was looted from us during the purge. The armor was my father's. Now it's mine. What's to stop me from dropping you right where you stand? Because I have a sharp shooter up on that ridge. Knew it! With a lock scope <coughs> that will unload by the time my body hits the ground. I'm the one wearing Beskar. As soon as I see that muzzle flash... He just flash, won't shoot you in the armored parts. both <laughs> dead. I didn't mean she was going to shoot you. My friends locked on to that little companion of yours up on the hinge. And if you remember, I don't, I don't miss. I don't miss. I don't miss. Fennec? You have a keen ear, Mando. Yeah, he's got How a shield. Are you I don't even. Uh, uh, are they going to address it? You point that gun away from the kid, or I'll drop you both where you stand. Dude, Mando, this kid's fine. <laughs> Let's all put down yeah. our weapons. No need for bloodshed. Why? Tell her to drop the gun after you put down the jetpack. What? <laughs> what? Jet <laughs> what? Because I guess we can fly away. What? The weapons That's are the problem, weird. not the fucking jetpack. Like the weapons are more important. Why is he taking? What? Run Someone's gonna Yoda? steal his jetpack, no, so it, probably. Th that's important. They made him take the jetpack off. For yeah. You were dead. Fate sometimes steps in to rescue the wretched. In um, my case? Plot, the plot. That, oh. Steps in to save us. What? What? Wow. How the fuck did oh, Boba right. Fett you're do that? You're just a robot. You're a cyborg woman. What? Boba Fett <laughs> built her a new stomach in the middle of the desert? Armor was given to my father, Django. The bounty on your little friend has risen significantly. You can buy ten suits of armor for the price on its head. Clearly not. No one cares about him. Yeah, no yeah. one's doing anything about it. Oh my god, how inconvenient is all of this? Everyone's showing up at once. Get your what? Did you do a jetpack? Did you just walk off you without the jetpack? Why would you without yes. a jetpack? Why? Why he was you? right next to you. He was fucking moron. I can't even understand the stupid thing. Like, people Jeez. coming back to life. With the stupid jetpack. Oh my jet goodness. Dead as. We should have been here. We should have been here hours ago. What is the matter with you, you fucking moron? So Did that knock him out? Is he, is he knocked out? Oh. He, whatever the plot needs to happen. Is he, so he lost the jetpack and he's knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's just oh, gonna be- geez. Oh, 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 Why do they look like CGI they, in that was, shot? They, they were CGI. Yeah. Kinda. Was, yeah. Also, fucking intelligent oh. as ever, lads. Yeah. They're literally just walking forwards without utilizing cover in any way. I'll move up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are they- up? their position was fine. Why didn't they use their ship and the cannons on the ship to kill these guys? Also, that fucking free aid. Like, go back in the ship and use your ship cannons. Mm. Or, mm -hmm. or run up- run up the mountain in the open. No, we gotta show a bunch of stormtroopers getting killed. There's literally- there. That wasn't flanking, that was you heading <laughs> right towards them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not flanking them either, you idiot. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. He's got his club. Is that even? What, why did he swing that twice? It's a club. Uh. You see that? He swung it around and then oh, swung it again. Oh, they missed him, of course. Oh, what? Well, how oh, did you what? get there? Yeah. Where are we? Oh, Teleport? Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, guys, one shot to Boba and he's dead. It? One shot. Any of you guys actually want to hit him? With a club? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, they're dragging it on the ground. <laughs> Wow, he can hit him with the club One and shot. it breaks their armor. Any it's a uniform. Of them, I'm it's sure not armor at this point. It's, it's a fucking armor. uniform. It's like plastic. Yeah. Alright, Team B, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob, Boba's being awesome. Now it's time for Sniper Gun. 
Really? Just follow the oh my god, the they have more oh. crews. They have mortars. Wow. <laughs> mortars? <laughs> they just casually open. brought a mortar. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh god, this is so cringe. Yes, shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot the guy. You shoot him. Shoot the guy. You have plenty yeah, like, of time. Okay. God. You are. How is he missing you? <laughs> Look. Oh my god, they suck. What is this? I know, right? Just shoot him. <laughs> Mortar is killing me. Or this guy, he's out in the open. This is what we call in Battlefield what are you 1, doing? a free kill. That's your cover. That's yeah, your cover. cover. That's, That's your, your cover. cover. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's from the high school of running away from things. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he he went right over him. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Indiana Jones. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> what? what was that guy doing? <laughs> what are you all doing? <laughs> Why he can stab through the armor with his stick. Why is this ship I'm there and open? I'm what? Speechless. I'm speechless. He left it open in case he needs to something <laughs> to get his armor. He's just gonna. Oh no! But there why there would the ship be? Why wouldn't the ship be locked down? Do. And I'm assassin. guessing that he's gonna fly in at the, when everything looks bleak and blow everybody up in his uh. He's gonna, he's gonna get us Whoa, get she's so cool. God, oh look at it go. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> Wow, God, it's like Jesus Call Christ, of Duty. So oh, shit. Oh, Rex, play some FPS with this. She's gonna why are you it. taking oh, your helmet man. off? Yeah, so well, I just want to play with off. her because the other team is worthless. It parked right next to Mando's ship. Why don't you just use the gun? Why don't you use your helmet as a weapon? What the fuck? Oh, he's up. Oh, Mando's uh, up. He's okay now. Come on, Mando, let's We're do good. it. We're good. Oh, what are we doing? Just kill them all. You did this already. I did this, knocked you out. Twice, and it, hap it gets progressively what worse every time you try it. What is he doing? He keeps trying. I don't get it. What is wrong with this person? Do you think, do you think he's gonna sustained protect you like, like I was before? Do you think he sustained incredible brain damage from all the times he's been shot in the helmet? Maybe it'll maybe it'll knock something like back in place. Oh, in it stopped brain. right as he left. Right as he left. Why did you take? <sighs> People shoot like your gun. They refuse to shoot. Us. They refuse to shoot her. Give your thumbs up. We don't want you. We want the child. We don't want you. We want the child. That's why you didn't shoot them. Why aren't you What's shooting? That? No, you killed like a dozen of our friends. You're dying. <laughs> None of them. Uh, use your wow, gun. Okay. Yep. There's <laughs> one right in the chest. You're they only shoot him. The he ran again. He got shot again. <laughs> oh my god. They're not. None of them are shooting here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, there's Boba Fett. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is... This is fan this is... service, the episode. Yeah. He's a little chunky, but you know. Yeah, no, he's still looking, got it. He's looking pretty cool. Yeah. Except they're all acting retarded as per usual. As usual, yeah. It's maddening. That seemed unnecessary. Oh my Jeez. god, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Shoot not, your gun! They were. They were <laughs> he's got me <laughs> he's rocket! Me rocket! Me rocket! No! <laughs> back to the ship cool. with the guns on it. Alright, uh, and then he's gonna use a rocket and blow up the ship. Wait! Where is there another rocket? Why do you have another rocket? Yeah, where did he get. Where would he have gotten the rocket from? There wasn't a rocket in his jetpack, was they there? They have guns! They're clearly not using them! There are four fuck off cannons on that thing. Why haven't they said Is he gonna hit one and then it crashes and he's hits the other? Yeah, he'll hit oh, one and it'll go. crash he's into the other. Kill them, right. They have. Yeah. I'll see ships have no countermeasures, these military landing craft. Yeah. Yep, I pulled it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, Boba is so fucking awesome. Yeah! Uh, um, fucking God. finally. God, I'm somebody uses their ship to blow up his ship. I'm Thank happy God about this. Gone. Fuck the Razor Crest. <laughs> this is yeah. a tragedy. Bye. Thank God that fucking ship is destroyed. Hey, lucky they didn't shoot Slave 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lucky they didn't shoot Slave 1. Get yeah, your jetpack! Jet jetpack. Uh, your jetpack. Jet yeah. Your jetpack. Dark troopers. Yes. The dark troopers. Oh no, the edgy troopers. <laughs> Why didn't you there send these no things effective. first is going to be Use your orbital guns to blow up Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just blow them up. This is the this is like the science fiction world. You can do stuff. 
Oh my god, look how fucking cool oh, they look. Wow. Oh, red eyes, <laughs> black creepers. armor. Oh. You're the robot Iron Man. Man, if only you had your jetpack, you could have gotten to Yoda in time. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 dun, 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 I bet they're gonna be blaster proof too. Oh, they're gonna be everything proof. He really didn't get the jetpack, did he? Did, yeah, no. If he had just... gotten the jetpack, this wouldn't have happened. None of this would yeah. happen. This... Also, this if Baby happened. Yoda's stupid meditation shit lasted long enough to blast these guys away from it. Yeah. Why was... are they walking so slowly? I don't, I don't know. Menacing. Oh, they got him. Oh, okay, 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 so. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's just off. Boba Fett can still save the baby. Boba Fett's got Slave 1 and he's got a jetpack. Oh, no. And you can get your jetpack, you fucking moron. There he is, alright. Wait, why does- why do they care? Stop it. I guess they- he got his armor, so he's gonna help out Mando. I guess so. Do not harm the child. Copy. I'll do a loose follow. See where they're headed. A smart decision that was made by a character? I was, I was about to say, yeah. I'm okay with that one moment. <laughs> yeah. Though, couldn't he get blown out of the sky? I assume they could just shoot him once. They wouldn't destroy Slave One. Though. They wouldn't. No, they would never Barbara destroy Slave One. Now, they don't have would the they? fucking balls to destroy Slave One. The Empire, they're back. Oh yeah, you, you know you were fighting stormtroopers a moment ago, right? I'm surprised they haven't let loose Tie Fighters or just tried to destroy that ship. But okay. Yes, there's nothing not even left of the ship. Tiny fucking pieces of your stupid fucking ship. No, dude, he'll take all of the pieces to a local mechanic and it'll be the way <laughs> he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll resurrect Quill from the dead, just like her, and then he'll put it together in a couple days with his spark gun. Dude, it'll be like uh, in Simpsons Hit and Run when your car explodes, you just take it to a mechanic and then they fix it up. Oh, really? I was about to ask if he's gonna find a stupid ball, find and then knob. he does. Of course, the ball survived the explosion. <laughs> the best car ball. Yeah. <laughs> Like these two are just like he's he's having a moment with his ship. It's fine. <laughs> They're treating the ship like it's a character. Find some of yes, them. Right. the best car spear. <laughs> he's gonna use that to stab Moff Gideon in the yeah. Tunnel. He'll impale him. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna be like, hey Boba, you want this? I don't know. <laughs> like, <it's... laughs> also, I, know I guess he doesn't care about Boba having the armor anymore. I think he's gonna get his jetpack back. See, this is me, Boba Fett. This is my father, Jango Fett. Your father was a foundling. And fought in the oh, is that a Civil Wars. I don't know. Then that armor belongs to you. Then our deal is complete. Not quite. We agreed. In exchange for the return of my armor, we will ensure the safety of the child. The child's gone. You took the armor, though. Till he has returned <laughs> to you safely, <laughs> you're in your debt. Fuck, Boba's a super Jeez, nice guy. Code of honor, fucking hell. Can we just so a good guy? Can we just follow Boba now? Fuck Mando. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Mando. <laughs> no, right. I want I want the Boba Fett show. Bo instead. Boba did like a smart thing. One so smart thing. So he's already <laughs> leagues ahead of Mando. His ship is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Very odd, but certainly. Oh, he's back. That's why I like it. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Good rumors you might have gone legit. Oh, so, that, so she's a marshal. That, that right? Yeah. You, didn't she have like a death sentence on her that she had to flee no, the Republic? Fine. No, that's but, fine. Name it. I need you to locate someone in the prison registry. See what I can do. Sharpshooter. He didn't tell you who yet. <laughs> what the fuck? Megs Mayfeld. Oh, oh no. Ben oh. Bill Burr! <laughs> oh, we're getting the gang back together for the finale, huh? Why would you ever want this guy? Bring him to help me locate Moff Gideon's light cruiser. Help what? locate Moff Gideon's light because he's ex Empire. No, just use the fob that Baby Yoda's attached to. No, we don't do Talk that. Talk to grief and get a fob for Baby we, Yoda. We, no, we don't do that. <gasps> oh, you better not have any eggs on board. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that the was turn. a dramatic turn. <laughs> <laughs> turn. He looks so small. <laughs> well, maybe those stormtroopers are just really tall. Yeah. Oh, oh. I do like his theme. But then again, I like all the music in this show. I just yeah, wish the show great. was good. Yeah. What the fuck oh. is happening? Are you shitting with me? What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> oh, this is perfect. It's. The Mandalorian's opinion about stormtroopers, they got Baby Yoda tossing them around a the room while they go, Hello! <laughs> Wait. Let them kill your friends. Wow. Oh, stormtroopers, you're so silly. Trained for decades. You've gotten very Have you ever seen one of these? Oh, edge saver. Oh, it's so edgy and cool. Quick, touch it. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, uh. 
You're not ready to play with such things. Put it in shackles. He he didn't miss. Impressive. <laughs> he didn't miss. Infinite Strikes is a big wow. sickle, so. Give this guy a promotion. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> our donor. Yes, sir. They have the donor. Yeah, that's the, you can slip out of that easily. <laughs> you can just slip those right off. Okay. I love those. Just pull his hands out of those. <laughs> Little baby oh shackles, God. I love it. Robert Rodriguez well, directed that. Catastrophe. Oh wow, okay. Jeez. What else did he do? For some reason, Planet Terror is the first thing that comes to mind. Didn't he do all the Machete movies as well? Yeah, he did Machete. Um, Jeez. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. He did Predators. Oh yeah, he did Sin City. Oh, Spy Kids 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost Fringy. Oh, bye Fringy. Oh no. Couldn't take it anymore. Hey, welcome back. You're right, Fringy. Uh, yeah. My internet drops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you, did you guys keep the episode going? The baby on his face. <laughs> this is some fucking ghoulish shit right there. I gotcha. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Okay, so, for sure, worst season of season, worst episode of season two. Not sure if worst episode yes. of Mandalorian as a whole. Oh, uh, yeah. I think four is still going to be tough to beat. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was but That was terrible. terrible. That, that, was that was really four. bad. That, that was yeah. really, really it's, bad. It's nice to know. And the funny thing is, I know exactly why people are c c calling this the best episode. It's so fucking obvious. Because Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Yeah, Boba, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Cool. He's he had so that cool. Club and he hit him with the club and she, she, she's <laughs> hit him dead. With but the now she's so cool. Him. She's so cool with the way that she shot all the stormtroopers. One of them had a mortar, and one of them had a, a gun, and he got hit by a rock. It was so cool. And then the dark <laughs> troopers, robots. Oh my god, did you see the dark troopers? So cool, they had red eyes. On the back, and it's so cool. Embarrassing as Embarrassing. fuck. They could have done so... I can't believe all of this episode hinges on Mandalorian forgetting he has a jetpack. He just and you know what's puts funny? it down and never picks it up. It's insane. The funny part is that the writers knew... It was like, we can get it so that he'll forget it when it's on the floor. That's not a problem. The problem is getting him to take it off. That's where we have to use our writing skill. So, <laughs> oh, how yeah. about that, we, have a, problem. we have a Mexican standoff with Boba Fett, and he says, like, okay, you lower your weapon, and I will lower my weapon. And it's like, okay, actually, you put your weapon on the ground as will I. By the way, Mando just disengages the whistling bird things, so that's like a second away from being something that can kill you, but Boba's just like cool with it, whatever. But then he's like, mm -hmm. so please, put down your jetpack. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Why? Why Why did you want him to put down the jetpack? That's strange. That's, God, that's some incredibly inept writing. There. It's insane. It's, insane. it's so um, bad. You uh, have... I've never... The way they don't give a fuck about Mando getting shot anymore. He is officially blaster proof. Despite yeah. half of his body not being I'm, covered in Beskar, I will, he gets shot like 20 times in this episode. I will find out in the editing, but I am almost certain. I'll do a count. I think he gets shot in this episode in that one scene more than he got shot in the, in the hallway scene in episode three. I think so, because I think it literally was about 20 times here that he got shot. Just standing there casually. And she's right next to him, by the way. She yeah, never she gets shot. Get hit and because... Standing right next to her, and he gets shot like 20 but hey, times. hey, if she gets shot in, like, the spleen, Boba Fett can just make her a mechanical spleen. <laughs> Yeah, I believe okay. that's. I love that you, 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 you know, we all sort of see it and we're like, okay, what's the explanation? I thought they weren't even going to explain it, but I actually think they did a worse job. They said, like, oh, Boba Fett just fashioned her a mechanical torso, I guess. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> excuse me? You know, when they had the mechanical hands, I think the writers were like, we can do mechanical stomachs, right? That's something people are okay As with. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I can't have anything too spicy, but other than that, I'm fine. I don't get it. Mando, first time trying to get Big Baby Yoda up, 
Okay, it doesn't work. Fair enough. I'll buy some time. Second time. Oh, still doesn't work. And it's like, okay, that that's enough, right? Okay, I'll try a third time. <laughs> it doesn't also, work. And it's like, oh, I guess I'll second... I'll protect you and w run away. And the second later, Baby Yoda is like, oh, I'm sleepy now. Like it's so clunky. Like the whole fucking scene is so terrible. Mm. He would have seen the second person come out of Slave One if he had just stayed up there and kept his eyes on him. How far um... away he walks the first time. Let me see if I can find this, the frame. Like, it's super far away. It's insane. By the way, Boba Fett, uh, do you know he blasts off as soon as Mando's ship is destroyed? He's blasting off because uh, Sniper Lady says, Your ship. Like, th the point being, so this guy's ship was just blown up. Slave One might get blown up too. You should go and get it, Boba. So this is like two stupids in one to counteract each other. Because the thought I had... Oh, uh, I'll put that on the screen. But when he goes to... Uh, like, I'm trying to save you, get you some, save you some time. Or buy you some time. He walks all this way over here. That's a long way. That takes a while to travel that distance Super on foot. Super far away. He's a fucking moron. Yeah, and I also love that he knows that Baby Yoda is immune to blast a fire right now. <laughs> It's, the whole thing is fucking crazy. But I was just going to bring up, so had the Empire blown up Slave 1 as well, either Boba might even have died, but it just it changes everything is basically the point I'm going with with that one. But simultaneously, if Boba hadn't blasted off to go and rescue his ship from potentially being blown up, which apparently the Empire had no interest in for some reason, even though we've seen the people who own these ships just mowing down your stormtroopers from up there, so I guess that's just not enough evidence to consider him hostile. Boba could have jetpacked off to, to maybe not save Baby Yoda, but certainly make a fucking difference, because uh, he could have gotten to Baby Yoda before the, the droids did, is kind of what I'm getting at. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's funny because, like, that kind of, that problem gets dwarfed by uh, Mando forgetting he has a jetpack. Didn't even need to do that. Like, they all have the, the whole surprise element with them being in orbit, sending down the Dark Troopers. Yeah, Dark Troopers. Like, they already have the, this, the surprise element. They could have just sent, like, 12 of them and just a, like a hard fight and they still get baby Yoda. Why they don't wouldn't... need to make look Mando like a retard again. Why wouldn't the Empire have sent down the, the troopers uh, at the same time the Stormtroopers came down? Not that we need any more reminders, but the Empire is fucking shit. It's so incredibly lucky that this weird force ritual that baby Yoda was doing didn't last another minute. Because if it did, everything would be different. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah the robots was... wouldn't have been able to grab him. That was an atrocity. That was fucking horrifyingly bad and it's not like it like destroyed anyone's characters because Mando's been this retarded the whole time but yeah. man it should be testing your ability to uh, take the show seriously anyone out there who still thinks this is great <laughs> and then of course Mando gets a stupid little shitty knob from the wreckage <laughs> it's fucking retarded Dude, I guarantee you many people in the audience were like oh because that's what he used yeah. to that's what Bobby used to play Got with made out of Beskar or what yeah obviously I, yeah, I'm calling he stabs Moff Gideon with the best cars. Definitely. Yeah. And then as, Mo as Moff Gideon dies, he's going to say, um, you have no idea what you've done. <laughs> he's going to be like, oh no. Well, this they need is to the have, way, he needs, maybe. He needs the best car steel to fight the Darksaber, because they're going to yes. have a melee fight with yep, the Darksaber. Yep, that's going to fucking happen, isn't it? Oh. oh. And, um... Yeah. Let's not forget, like, Boba Fett and Mando are gonna have a moment in 7 or 8 where they're probably- For reference- I actually feel like this is so probably on point that I want to reference- This is before the episode's out, okay? <laughs> but there's gonna be a scene where Boba and Mando are both, like, do- You know, like, Iron Man 2, where War Machine and Iron Man are just r r fucking Oh, wrecking. yeah, and they're back to back. They're gonna do that with Boba oh, and Mando. Either yeah, a hallway absolutely. or an arena, but they're both just going to be shooting their guns together. Mando might say, like, we make a good team. And then, and then Boba's like, I work alone. <laughs> Even, Even though, though I don't, clearly. Even though he doesn't. <laughs> Even though I don't. I work alone normally. It's a cool line. I'm saying it anyway. I'm just a simple it, yeah. name. So yeah, I picture that they're going to... It's going to be Bill Burr, Sniper Girl, Boba, Mando, possibly uh, Gina Carano. And they're all well, going to... Bill Burr is the guy I need to find Baby Yoda. <laughs> Good so for fucking though. cool. I, I mean, uh, yeah. So <laughs> next episode is going to be them getting Bill Burr out of jail, I guess. And then episode eight is going to be the, Dude, the uh, big finale. Climax. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the fucking like opening scene. Oh, it, maybe. Yeah. Just, just like, like they have someone being in in some situation. Or Bill, it's all from Bilbo's POV or something. And he's like, "What the hell's going on?" And then <laughs> they grab him. Somebody gonna tell me what's going on here? Let's go. Well, they yeah. can't fight the New Republic. 
Because I would make a mini of that faction and Cara Dune, I guess, is a marshal with him now, inexplicably. Well, he's fuck. Uh, obviously, who knows what's going to happen. I'm expecting hallways uh, with all of them walking down them, stormtroopers turning corners and getting shot down. It's going to be epic. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of dead stormtroopers these next two episodes. As if we didn't have enough. Because, yeah. like, guys, this... The stormtroopers are worthless. True. The Empire is insanely stupid. They're, they're too stupid to live. Also, I just want to bring it back up. Uh, knee rockets. Yeah. Knee rockets. They were, they were uh, projectiles, <laughs> whatever they were. I don't he know. shot little rockets, yeah. Instead of him just shooting the two guys with his gun, he shot them with his rockets. Are we going to see the scene where uh, Boba goes to this shop to get extremely specialized knee rockets to replenish <laughs> the ones he used? I don't know why he took the time to prep and fire knee rockets instead of just shooting his gun. Shooting them, yeah. The knee rocket thing was pretty di That's That's some of that OC shit, you know? My guy's got <laughs> knee rockets. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's, that's so cool, man. <laughs> There's one other thing I think I want you, I want you guys to. I've, I've, I've been made aware of this. Kind of funny. It's just the opening of this. This is, um, so this is Star Wars Theory, which is. One of the most popular channels for what he does, which is just instant reaction review of, uh, of an episode, I guess. And um, it, his and video is called The Mandalorian oh, Season 2 Episode awesome. 6 Breakdown. Oh my god. And the top comment says, uh, uh, Boba is amazing. Is and he's, he's pin, oh. pinned it himself. Yeah, oh, so it, together. It, okay. it, is, it is that simple, isn't it? <laughs> well, just listen to this opening. Uh, here we go. This was my absolute favorite episode of the entire season. It was action-packed, and everything that the ten-year-old me would have loved. Yeah, it, the, I, I can oh, yeah. see why a ten-year-old would like this. Yes. So yeah. on the face, <laughs> it's everything ten-year-old me face. would love. It's like, yeah, good job. Um, <sighs> also, I see someone has made this. Do you remember Boba Fett? <laughs> you gotta give it up for Boba Fett. I do. I do remember Boba Fett. <laughs> Give it up for the man and the Mandalorian, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boba Fett. Uh, we love Boba Fett. Boba Fett. He's coming back. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Bo I remember him. I remember him. He's got a backpack and he flies. Hey, I like Pit Monster, buddy. He's yeah. so cool and mysterious. He wears a mask. <laughs> 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 oh i love that that's awesome oh i feel like it's so clear like yeah. that's all you have to do is have an old star wars <laughs> character doing cool stuff yeah like i can't i can't stress enough the writing of that episode was really bad yeah Worst episode of the season. Easily. And we had some doozies already. Yeah, episode one was still really bad. Three was really, really bad. Four was pretty bad as well. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, see you for the next ones, folks. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, can't kill myself forever. Help. What'd you bring me? You're done. Let this serve as your warning. We will not discriminate between the bat and those who ate her, a bet her, or so much as turn on a damn bat light. Get out. Then we're gonna need to find something stronger. Could have blown her damn head off. You just made this way too personal. It's war. Lock it all down. Find me the bat. New Star Wars show episode with Green Mandalorian sniping lady and the robot people stealing the gremlin dude was epic. <laughs> there was a lot of action, rockets slash sticks and ray guns, scenes, boulders slash mortars and ships. Can't wait to get the EFAP coverage out. Was so cool. It really felt like Star Wars. Also, correction, Green Mandalorian is called Django Felt, and I just missed it. But the episode felt very excellent and was visceral in the tactile approach to action. You have to admit, it's better than the sequels. <laughs> Green Mandalorian. Green Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How many people do you think will take this seriously? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder. Oh, you put it out right now. <laughs> <laughs>